Today, I made my computer read binary for me. Oh, okay, let me explain, it's interesting. So, while computers are really good at reading binary, we are not. We use a base 10 counting system with digits ranging from 0 to 9, whereas computers use binary with only zeros and ones. And that's also what we mostly use in redstone contraptions. And usually, redstone on is considered a 1 and redstone off is considered a 0. We make that more visual using redstone lamps like so, and that's really useful because now we can know really easily what a circuit is actually outputting. But can you tell me what that number is in decimal? <laughs> well, I know I can't. That's way too big. That's 16 digits and our brains, or most languages even, aren't made to deal with that sort of thing quickly. I want the number in decimal and fast, so that I can check if it's the value I'm expecting. But how do we do that? One way you could do that is for example write the ones and zeros in an online binary to decimal converter. For example, if we have this number, we just go on the internet and then write 101010101011010 and then the website is literally going to tell you which number in decimal it is and I have no idea which one it is yet. However, it's too tedious for me. I'm lazy, so instead I made my own converter that works in Minecraft directly. Recently, I made a mod that adds some quality of life features for redstoners. I'll link the video about it in the card at the top right corner, so go watch it after this one. One of these features was the slash block to bin command, which allows you to convert a straight line of blocks into a decimal value. For example, if I want to convert this binary number over there into decimal, I only have to execute this command, and as you can see, the game tells me that the number is 69. Nice. Now, I have this binary number here that I showed you at the start of the video, and I want to convert it to decimal. Let's write the command for it. First, let's type slash block to bin. Then, we need to specify the coordinates of the block representing the least significant digit of our binary number, which actually is the rightmost one over there, so slash block to bin, and then we enter the coordinates. Real quick, if you don't know, the least significant digit is the digit that holds the least value in a number. Take for example 783, 3 is the least significant digit because 3 represents the quantity 3, whereas 8 represents 80 and 7, 700. So the least significant digit is always going to be the rightmost digit when you write down the number. After that, we need to specify where the most significant digit of our number is in the world. So for our number, it's actually the leftmost one over there, so we pull up the command again and input the coordinates. The most significant digit is the leftmost digit in a number when you write it down. If we take our example of 783 again, the most significant digit is 7, as it holds 700, whereas 8 only 80 and 3 only, well, 3. Now that the computer knows where the binary number starts and ends, we need to tell it what block represents a 0 bit and which block represents a 1 bit. In our representation right here, an off lamp represents a 0 bit, so let's write that redstone lamp lit equals false. And then a redstone lamp on this time represents a 1 bit. So let's write redstone lamp lit equals true. The computer knows where the binary number is in the world and also which block represents a 1 and which block represents a 0. Now we only need to input three little last options. We first specify the number of bits our number has, which in this case is 16. Then, we need to say if we want to read the number in reverse. Basically, we swap around every bit. For example, if we had 1010 and we asked the computer to read the number in reverse, we would have 0101. And here, we don't want the computer to read it in reverse, so we put false. And finally, we need to tell the command if the number is a truth complement binary number. Well, this topic is a bit too complex for today, so I'll link in the description a good tutorial about it for my friend Matt Batwings. Just know that our number is not a two's complement number, at least yet. And with that, our command has everything it needs to start converting our number from binary to decimal. Remember, at the start of the video, we didn't know what this binary number was, but now if we run the command, we can see that the binary number is actually 41,626. Now, if I, for example, switch the least significant digit on and run the command again, we can see that the new number is 41,627, which, well, if you put it into an online converter, is correct. I think that was a lot to take in, so let me sum up how to use the command real quick. 
First, you input where the block representing the least significant digit is and where the block representing the most significant digit is. After that, you input which block represents a 0 and which block represents a 1. And finally, we input the number of bits the binary number has, then if the comment reads it in reverse order, and if the binary number is in 2's complement form. It looks like a lot to do, but it's actually really fast when you get the hang of it. Let me show you. So for example, if I wanted to convert this binary number into decimal, which is 5 by the way, I do slash block to bin, enter the first coordinates, enter the second coordinates, then our bit 0 is redstone lamp lit equals false, and our bit 1 is redstone lamp lit equals true. There's 4 bits, not reverse, not to complement, and we can see that our number is 5. Next, I wanted to talk about why the command is structured that way, having it being that complex for a seemingly simple task. Well, firstly, a binary number in Minecraft can be represented with lamps, but it can really be represented with any pair of blocks. For example, here is the same number, but with obsidian as 1 and stone as zeros. And secondly, a binary number in Minecraft can also be represented vertically like so, with the least significant digit being at the bottom and the most significant digit being at the top. And sometimes, it can also get crazier than that. If, for example, your number is actually slanted like so, well, the command would still work. For example, this is the exact same number as we had twice before, but this time in a diagonal manner, with the most significant digit being at the top and the least significant digit being at the bottom. And if we run the command again, you can see that the number is still 41,626. Everything until this point was pretty abstract, so let's do a real situation example. Here, I have an 8-bit adder which adds two binary numbers together at the front and outputs their sum at the back. And I want to check if it works correctly by testing it. Let's say I want to add 69 and 70, which adds up to 139. First, I'm going to input 69 in the first input and I'm going to input 70 in the second input. Then, let's verify that I entered the right binary numbers by using the command. You can also use uh, relative coordinates in the command, so it's really easy to use. So here we have 69 and in this one we have 70. Alright, cool. And finally, I'm going to check if the output number is the sum of 69 and 70. So if we go at the back, stand on the number and run the command with the relative coordinates, we can see that the output is actually 139. So our 8-bit adder is actually working correctly. So, experienced redstoners can read binary numbers up to 8 bits more or less easily, so this command might not be very useful for 8-bit circuits. However, it gets more useful the more bits we add. I recently had to test a 64-bit adder like this one, and honestly, it was very easy to mass test it. Alright, if you made it this far, you might like the showcase video of the complete redstone quality of life mod that I made. I'm going to link it in the description, go watch it after this one. Update on the mod by the way, I actually managed to update it to 117, so I think I might release it in a few months when everything is polished. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool, so I wanted to show you. <laughs> See ya.